You know that nothing has been left undone. There isn't a subject that we have not addressed. And you know that to the beginning and ending of you, you have heard the answer that you are looking for. Yes? yes. Would you agree with us that from where you sit right now, you are recognizing that it's easier than you've been making it out to be? Can you feel the resourcefulness of source and its ever ready availability to you? And are you accepting that it really is your work to come into the vicinity? And do you also realize that with every effort is not the best word because effort usually implies pushing against something, but with every concentrated decision that you make to improve the way you feel that you then have access to more resources and more resources. Do you like knowing that you are here to manifest? Do you like the physicality, the sensuality of your physical time space reality? Don't you love the beauty of it, the color of it, the texture of it, the sound of it, the feel of it, the smell of it, the taste of it. Isn't this just a delicious place to be focused? And can't you feel that this creative palette is just beginning, that there's so much more deliciousness to be discovered, to be desired, to be understood, and then to be realized. And aren't you pretty hot on the idea of the incremental realizing of it? Doesn't it feel satisfying to you to feel yourself off and then feel yourself on? Don't you love that self-control? And aren't you always excited when that self-control then yields evidence of your true power? We can feel that you are enjoying the understanding of your true power. And we use the word power in the sense of love, the power of source, the power of goodness, the power of well-being. Because you can't wield that power against anything. You can't use power against anything without it backlashing. You can only use power for something. You only align with goodness. So we want to say to you that the power that exists, the only power that exists is the power of goodness. And you have been contributors of it because you have helped define what it is that you want. And the larger part of you stands in the holding of all of that and calls you into alignment with it. We want to remind you as we are bringing this gathering to an ending today. That the feeling of alignment is the greatest power that there is. The feeling of alignment is the greatest power that there is. But it doesn't end with the feeling. It will flesh out into more of the delicious things that you're wanting. And it will confirm itself to you endlessly. You are powerful creators who have had a lot of experience in manifestation. And it is our knowing and it is our joyful acknowledgement that now that you understand who you really are, now that you understand and you do, your emotions are guidance that let you know your relationship between what you're thinking right now and what the source within you knows about the same subject. Now that you know how to easily move into simple and fast alignment with who you really are, the manifestations will start flooding in today as evidence that you have found your place. You found your place. You're not going to come again talking about glitches and struggles. You're going to come again talking about ideas and advancement. Once you got this and you got it, you can't go back from it. You will never be the same. You can't unlearn what you learned. You can vibrate in opposition to it, but it will only help you remember it more. <laughs> so whenever you feel negative emotion, it's just jogging your memory of what you know as a result of what we've talked about here today. We feel so much love and appreciation for your willingness not to just be here playing with us all around the world or in this room. It's not just this nowness that we adore you about. It's your willingness to be in this body at all. Your willingness to be out here on this leading edge of thought. Your willingness to explore and put into the vortex 
things for you to reap the benefit and reward of manifestation of now or things that will be saved for generations to come who are less resistant to the idea but we want to say to you if this time space reality has inspired within you a desire this time space reality and this nowness has the power and the willingness and the capacity to yield it to you fully now there is great love here for you and as always we remain eternally and blissfully robustly and friskily in the vortex I can listen to you all day and I do listen to you a lot but how do you go from believing to knowing well in the same way that there is a vibrational variance between doubting and believing there is a vibrational variance between believing and knowing doubting and believing is a further expanse doubting is not far from disappointment which is not far from fear which is not far from disempowerment in other words when you doubt something your vibration is very far from the knowing of it mm -hmm. and by the time you reach this vibration of hoping you've come most of the distance and so you can go quickly from hoping to believing and quickly from believing to knowing it's just a matter of staying there focused a little longer all hope means is that you're focused more upon what you want than you are upon what is it's where you've tipped the balance of the scale so that more of the time you are thinking about it as you want it to be rather than seeing it like it is so once you tip that balance that uh, fulcrum tips downstream so to speak as you find the feeling that begins to feel like belief there's a lot of momentum in that and somewhere between hoping and believing you start getting manifestations and so belief goes from knowing because all kinds of evidence is now pointing toward it oh we love saying this to you what a wonderful question you've put to us when you're hoping for something you're still in that phase where it's vibrationally complete and you are mostly thinking in direction of what you want rather than what you don't want but the manifestation hasn't started showing itself to you but if you stay in that hopeful place long enough now manifestations begin to show themselves to you and now you begin to believe when you begin hoping for something and then you start noticing what comes from that and then you begin believing and you start noticing what comes from that before long knowing is easy we want to put this into the context of what faith is a feeling of faith is belief that it will happen even though I don't have evidence that it is happening and it's what we were talking about earlier as we were talking about any of you traveling from city to city that journey is understandable so you don't get out there halfway and get disoriented you understand those journeys but often when you're going from sickness to wellness or from not having something you want to having it you don't have any evidence there are no signposts that are so vivid and obvious to you other than the guidance of emotion and so this knowledge that you are reaching for can come to you immediately when you accept that the way you feel is your indication of direction in other words when you know that the better you feel the better it gets and the worse you feel the worse it gets that's the knowledge that you're really wanting to reach for when you notice the absolute correlation between how you've been thinking and feeling and what's manifesting you've got knowledge so then something wonderful will happen and Esther will say I did that that's knowledge when something not so wonderful happens Esther said I did that that's knowledge so it's the knowing of the guidance system that we want you to focus upon everything that you live is a replication of how you've been feeling nothing happens that's separate from the way you feel everything happens that is exactly corresponding to how you've been feeling so as you start consciously noticing those comparisons as you think and feel and have a manifestational result before you know it you have knowledge and then you start saying I know I did that and we think that that's really the knowledge that you're wanting to reach for and then it's just a matter of practicing the better feeling thoughts we think what trips so many of you up is that 
you've been trying to compare how you feel with how others have felt or how others are feeling when the comparison that you want to make is how does this thought feel in relationship to the thought that I just thought and as you keep leaning to increasingly better feeling thoughts before you know it you'll become addicted to the feeling of momentum and well-being and then the conversation won't be how do I have knowledge? The conversation will say, I have the knowledge. The question is whether I am deliberately applying it or not. We tease Esther a little bit because she knows the difference between a thought that feels better and a thought that feels not as good. She knows. She's been practicing this for a long time. She knows a thought that feels a little better and a little better and a little better. And with deliberate attention, she can parlay any thought that feels any way into a better feeling thought. No matter how good it feels, she can make it better. No matter how bad it feels, she can make it better. She knows how to make every single thought feel better. But sometimes she does not use that as her criteria. She'll say, well, it's true as if that has anything to do with anything. <laughs> there are a lot of things that are true that you don't want to live. There are a lot of things that are true that you do want to live. Let the criteria be, how does it feel when I think it, you say. Very good. Thank you. Very yes, much. indeed.